This is the Oracle Fusion Manufacturing and Production Scheduling Integrated Up Location Process Flow. In this demo, they will showcase the process integration between the cloud manufacturing with production scheduling, the cylinder block shows transaction and master data, where the remaining are present a predefined functional activity. The scope of the demo is identified and the bill of material is what you see in this particular screen. The work definition or the routing is what we are considering for the demo is for a broken iPhone 6 and we would look at the routing in the Fusion application in the form of work definition. So the Fusion work definition comprises of both the items and the operations details as you can see there. So let's create a work order. Work execution task with managed work orders to create a new work order for a predefined item. Quantity and start date is arbitrarily entered at this point. So, with the work order created, the work order's start and completion dates look like this. So let's import the work orders created in manufacturing into the production scheduling environment rather than file integration and the Oracle production schedule imports this in the form of files and these master data in the PS side will be presented as you can see the on hand here and the resource constraints like minimize work in process and resource units will all be applied. And also the work order details like start date, requested date and so on for each work order as we saw in the manufacturing side has come over to PS. So now we will build the schedule. The schedule Gantt will be generated upon building using the schedule solve options as you see here. The production Gantt displays work orders once built in the form of logical sequence based on optimized calculations. So, as you can see, this particular work order, 25869, is scheduled to be the last. In case this has to be the first, then a repair option can be enforced to make this a hard constraint to reschedule all the remaining work orders around it. As you see, the Gantt has turned yellow for most of the other work orders, while the green one shows that this particular order now scheduled much earlier than before, and that's the representation on the green line. There are worker exceptions because of this change, which you can see here. There can be more than one scenario in the PS side and KPI can be used to compare the scenarios as you see here. And based on the best model of the best scenario, the scheduler can choose to approve and publish that particular scenario in this case, SC-JIT. It is approvable scenario, which would be right clicked and approved. And then comes the publishing utilizing the PS publishing capability and the cloud FPDI import capability. Now we would be utilizing the integration which is pre-built for PS to cloud by Trinomix in order to import the files back in the form of reschedule work orders for further executive in on the cloud side. So, in the cloud manufacturing work execution, we look for the same work order number that was resequencing at the PS side. As you see, the completion date is now changed based on the schedule and start date is also changed accordingly. Now, we release the work order and then proceed towards the completion transaction to complete the assembly in the inventory. First, we open the dispatch list. and we pick the work order from the dispatch list for completion. In this demo, we assume that the physical completion is happening in the shop floor and materials are getting back flush with a lot control. And as you see the back flush step, which is a next step in where the components at operation 10 are getting back flush based on the operation pull sequence. 
and the component lot number is being assigned. Likewise, likewise, the next count point operation is the routing or the work definition was operation 30, which is what would be the next step to complete which would result in work order completion. So as the assembly is being completed at operation 30 with the component lot number for the component item specified, the assembly item would be completed into the inventory with the specific lot number as you can see. This inventory, which is completed in the form of assembly, a lot can be viewed on the inventory side, and the transaction that resulted in completion of item to the inventory is viewed in the work order history. And along with the material transactions, there are resource transactions, which will be viewable in the transaction history of the work order. So all the history of the work order of it is viewed in the particular screens. Let's look at the on hand completed into the inventory and the warehouse operations and inventory. The on hand lot is entered and the 45 quantity is completed to inventory is viewed. Thank you so much.